Good day everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back to a new review. For today we have a new mini PC from Azuli and this one is called the Buy 3. And this is in fact the first mini PC that I've seen that's running Windows 10 the Pro Edition because most other mini PCs that I've seen are actually running the Home Edition. For specs we have the Intel Apollo Lake N3450 CPU, this is a quad core CPU clocked at 1.1 GHz, we also have 4 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of internal storage. As for pricing you can buy this for about $199 and I'm gonna leave some links in the video's description. Now in the near future we will also get a version that comes with 8 gigs of RAM. And just as a quick disclaimer this video is being sponsored by Azuli, however all the opinions expressed in this video are my own. Alright why don't we start with a very quick unboxing. So the mini PC comes in a good looking box, on the front of the box we see a picture of the device and turning the box around we are gonna find some of the specifications. Inside we are gonna find the mini PC itself and we are also gonna find the remote control and this is an IR remote control. To use the remote control you are gonna have to point it directly at the mini PC otherwise it's not gonna work and the functionality is also somewhat limited. So if you are looking for more functionality I do recommend getting a wireless keyboard and mouse because it's gonna make things much much easier. And aside from that we're also gonna find a power adapter and a small user manual that's in English and it's got a whole bunch of pictures. The mini PC itself it's mostly made out of plastic and supposedly the top side will help with heat dissipation. So this mini PC it's fanless and that means that it will not make any noise. On the front we have the power button and the power button lights up red or blue depending if the mini PC is on or off and we also have the IR receiver on the front there. On the right hand side you're gonna find two USB ports and one of those USB ports is a USB 3 and we also have a slot for an SD card and the mini PC can take SD cards up to 256 gigs. And since we are talking about storage if you actually remove the back plate on this mini PC so the back plate is made out of metal and we also have um, four screws there so if you remove those four screws you have access to a M2 slot and that means that you could install a SSD or um, a hard drive so you're not gonna be limited by that um, 32 gigs of internal storage that comes with the device. And I've also checked the speeds for the internal storage so out of that 32 gigs of internal storage that comes with the device we actually have about 12 um, gigs left maybe 13 because I installed a whole bunch of stuff and the speeds that we got are very very similar with previous um, billing mini PCs that I've tried. And moving back to the mini PC itself, so on the back there you're also gonna find a 3.5mm audio jack so you could connect some speakers or headphones to the mini PC. We also have two more USB 3 ports, the port for the power adapter, the HDMI out, VGA out, uh, the port for the power adapter, a USB-C and lastly the Wi-Fi antenna. Since we have that VGA port on the back you could technically connect this to an older monitor but um, I didn't actually try it because all my monitors have an um, HDMI port so I don't really have um, any older ones but you could technically do that. Connectivity wise we have dual band Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and that means that you are going to be able to connect any Bluetooth mouse, any Bluetooth um, gaming controller or headphones. As for the speeds over a wired connection and over the dual band Wi-Fi well they are great and on par with all the other mini PCs that I've tried in the past. As I mentioned earlier this comes pre-installed with Windows 10 the Pro Edition and this is also an activated copy of Windows 10 and that means that you're gonna be able to get Windows updates and you also have access to the Windows Store and you can download any apps from there. Moving on to benchmark results, so the first benchmark test that I tried was Passmark and the score that we got there was about 900 and this is basically the same score that we've seen for previous mini PCs um, with the same CPU, the Intel N3450. I've also had Cinebench going and once again we get roughly the same scores that we've seen for previous uh, mini PCs with the exact same um, CPU and lastly on the Geekbench 4 um, the same story we get roughly the same scores that we've seen for other mini PCs with the exact same CPU. So overall the benchmark results um, were what I was actually expecting. I'm assuming that most people are gonna be using this mini PC as a media center and that means that you're gonna have it connected to the TV and you're gonna be watching videos, movies and so on. So first of all if you use Edge you can watch YouTube videos in 4K. So if you have a 4K TV you could have um, YouTube videos going in 4K. Now if you're gonna be using Chrome you're not gonna be able to watch the same videos um, as smoothly as um, on uh, Microsoft Edge for some reason and that must have to do with the um, optimization. But if you use Edge um, you shouldn't have any issues um, watching 4K videos on YouTube. I've also tried Netflix and this was the Netflix app that I downloaded from the Windows Store. Now you could technically just open the browser and watch Netflix that way but I think it's easier through the app. Now if you are using a wired connection you're not gonna have any issues with buffering or anything like that but if you are um, over Wi-Fi you may see some buffering every now and then depending on the quality that you are watching. 
Same story with Kodi. So this was Kodi 17.4 that I also downloaded from the Windows Store. And as you know, Kodi doesn't come pre-installed with any add-ons. However, if you do install some add-ons, all the add-ons seem to work fine without any issues. But as we've seen, Kodi works on pretty much any device. I've also tried a whole bunch of video files and I just used the built-in um, video player. I didn't actually install any other um, video players. And the first file that I tried there um, was a 4K file at 59 frames per second. And as you can see for yourself, it did um, work very well um, without any issues. The second file that I tried um, was another 4K file at 50 frames per second, um, if I remember correctly. And uh, once again, it did um, play without any issues. So I'm just going to let you see all the files that I tried. And as you've seen, all the video files that we tried work fairly good. And those are the same files that I tried on previous mini PCs or um, TV boxes. And they do seem um, to work good on the Intel N3450. You can also do some gaming on this, but don't imagine for a second that you have a powerhouse. So you're going to be able to play some games, but not all the games. The first game I tried was Asphalt 8. And uh, this was a game that I downloaded from the Windows Store. And I'm just going to let you watch for a few seconds. And I've also tried a multiplayer game and once again this um, was a game that I downloaded from the Windows Store and this one did okay but I believe that the first one did uh, much better but I'm gonna let you watch for a few seconds. So as you've seen some light games like those um, were good as well so definitely don't expect that you're gonna be able to play some graphics intensive games but um, games like those um, will do fine. And it's time to conclude this video so pretty much everything that I tried on this mini PC worked fine and as expected for that Intel N3450 CPU. Now what I didn't like was the fact that we don't have a built-in microphone because um, that would have been a nice um, addition and also the internal storage is not that much so we only have about 12 gigs of internal storage so you're definitely gonna have to install some more um, internal storage in the near future. Alright guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.